To use FS logics in Brass version 18, we made it super simple, like I mentioned in the slide deck. First and foremost, we go to the, our site settings, features, and now we have the panel that controls where FS logics installation will be. You can either use it manual, install online, install from a network share, or push from a RAS publishing agent where you need to download the file and upload to the server. For online installation, we just click on online install and we pick the supported version. It can be uh, two versions that you see here or even a custom URL. So let's use version 2009 or 1909, depending on the servers you have. I will choose 1909 in this case. I'll apply the settings. And now we can go to our RD session hosts or VDI or WVD. And in this case, I'll pick my group. Double click the group that I have. Go to user profile. And instead of using the site defaults, I will just make it for this group where we use FS logics. We're going to use SMB location instead of cloud cache. Pick the folder, which is already in one of my uh, storage containers. Format, allocation, so this looks pretty good. And on additional settings, we can set different flags like users and groups, inclusion or exclusion, folders to be either added to the profile container or not, or advanced settings that you might want to customize. Usually these are uh, GPOs that you push to those servers, but in our case, you're doing the push directly from the RAS console. So let's save it. We will click OK, and we will apply those settings. And when we go back to our server, we can go to the server settings and go to the user profile, and that will be already here. So the process will be enabling it will have a server pending boot, a restart to, to be done, and then FS Logics will be ready to go. So let's keep going with our demos. And the rest of the process is pretty much the same. If you have additional questions, please go to parallels.com/ras.